That's right, Lou. Imagine that uh, sleeping through the night only to realize the next morning that you had not only been burglarized, but somebody was staring over you as you slept. That's exactly what happened to one San Bernardino couple out here. Now take a look at your screen. Uh, we're told a man entered into one San Bernardino apartment. You can see him just staring down at a couple who was sleeping in the bed inches away from where he stood. That was on February 22nd at 4.30 in the morning. Now video of about 10 minutes before that shows him rummaging through this family's belongings. Rachel and Kevin Sandoval tell me that the suspect entered through their three-year-old child's window. They're in the downstairs unit of an uh, apartment complex. They say luckily their child was in the living room with their night nurse because he has to be uh, cared for due to a disability. But at one point, the suspect even walked through the living room out through the front door while that three-year-old was sleeping. The nurse told the Sandovals she had been watching a podcast but didn't see anyone walk through. It was creepy. It was really creepy. Um... Very yeah. unnerving. I went and checked out the footage and to view the footage to see what, who it was and what happened. And when I looked at it, I was like, who is this guy? How did he get in my house? Why does my camera just show him leaving and then him coming back? How did he originally get in? Yeah. Well, until a little bit later, I noticed that my son's screen was off and that he had came through there. Now, both Kevin and Rachel say that the burglar was inside the home for quite a bit of time. Once he left through the front door, video shows him coming back for a second time. By that time, the nurse in the living room had woken up and confronted him as he was trying to come through the door. She stopped him uh, from coming in. It wasn't until the next morning after that the family checked the cameras to find out what exactly happened that night. It since uh, has left them on edge. Rachel tells me that he stole $4,000 in cash, her wedding ring, and other sentimental items. San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department recently took an unrelated call that led them to this suspect. Now, at that time, the San Bernardino police already had a warrant out for his arrest. He was taken into custody on April 11th. We were able to obtain uh, DNA um, evidence, which ultimately ended up uh, linking him to this particular crime. Uh, our detectives put together a photo lineup and he was picked out of a photo lineup. Now, police are not releasing the suspect's identity because they believe that it could compromise other investigations that he could be linked to right now that they're looking into. Now, coming up at five, I'm going to have that full story plus what the nurse says uh, that that burglar told her as she confronted him at the front door. That's the very latest here in San Bernardino. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Shelby.